Hey YouTube, this is Pamela. This is Craft and Commentary, and I am here focusing on one of the recent videos here in my office. This is on my computer right now, this video. So uh, I don't want to dwell on that because I'm just going to link to that video in the show notes below. You can watch that at your leisure. I just want to give you some reference point here. Uh, this is... Uh, my new jelly plate project, my planets project. Don't ask me. I accept that someone uh, online, I think on Instagram, uh, inspired me. Oh, I've got some lighting here issues. Okay, let's get that going there. There we go. Um, somebody had some uh, round paintings that were inspiring. They looked like planets. And I was like, you know, uh, I can do that. <laughs> so let me quickly sort of pan in on some of these. These, so to speak, didn't make the cut for that video that you saw at the beginning there. Um, but these are kind of nice. They're worth a flip. And I also wanted to discuss uh, technique a little bit. I came up with something new. Um, I am very much into jelly plate printing. And let me stop the motion here. Stop everything for just a minute. Give a little plug for jelly plate printing. If people know anything about me, they know that um, I am a true aficionado of this art technique and let me just quickly show the product this just rules baby um, this is silicone and basically very quickly if you're not familiar with this you you use a brayer and you uh, you roll craft paint on here then you take something and disrupt the image with a stencil with a a comb or some kind of a fork or anything to disrupt the thin layer of paint. You put your paper down and you pull it up and you have a monoprint. Um, so anything silicone against silicone is good. So people, I have discovered that if you use an, a, uh, a tool such as this, let me see what that is, let me get that nice and um, focused in. This, you can get these on eBay, and they are used, their their purpose is for carving clay. But they're made out of silicone, people. So, you can take your thin layer of paint that you, uh, and uh, if you go to Jelly Arts, uh, search Jelly Arts on YouTube, you can find out, you can see dozens and dozens of tutorials on jelly plate printing. Um, but just think of it folks, you can use these as a stylus and you can draw with them. So that was the technique I used for my planets. Okay, so I also want to say that I have a bunch of them. <laughs> They're a little bit full of paint and I apologize for that. But some of them are large. You see big, big, uh, and these I use in all different shapes that are normally used for clay. Uh, you can certainly use on the jelly plate. Anyway, let me quick continue with my flip. These are the planets that didn't make the cut, but some of them are really nice. I like this one a lot. So, quickly. This one's very colorful, wonderful colors, the lavender. This one I love. Get the right light. There we go. Very nice. Just I want to quickly do a flip so you can at least get a general perusal of the one. Nice. 
like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, nice. See, there is that quality. It's sort of a quality that's like graffiti or um, or rubber stamping. That's what you get. And also, since the paint dries so quickly, you have to be very spontaneous with your painting. Um, that is definitely the word. And, you know, often when you are spontaneous, um, things don't work out <laughs> it's, if it's not planned. And it's very of the moment. And uh, so those are my planets. And then, as you know from the video that I'm linking to, um, I also have, like, small 3x5 jelly plates. Let me just quickly show you the ones that didn't make the video. And a lot of them are really quite nice. So, um, enjoy these. I like the colors. Jelly plate printing always allows you to use great color combinations, layering, um, and it's got that spontaneous look to it. And you can use these as pattern paper, I mean, everything under the sun. Um, I don't think you really, what's nice about them is you, you don't have to take them too seriously. Uh, you don't have to get all bent out of shape because they are original art and all of that. I give these out, you know, some of the nicer ones, these aren't so great, some of them, but I give them to friends, and, uh, you know, they're always really thrilled to get a piece of original art. So that's about it. Thank you. This is Craft and Commentary. This is Pamela. Thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll see you real soon.